You happy now? Oh, I still have Burnout 3 in. Oh no, the disk drive locked up again. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I tried out Call of Duty 3 uh, earlier today, and it says some weird shit about like, I forgot what I said specifically, but it was like, the host lobby doesn't work, you can't connect, or something like that, I don't remember. So I was like, what if this is a Xbox Series X thing? So we're gonna try it again, this time my native 360. I'm very now I've just killed my disc. We did it. Don't, don't fuck with me. I'm terrified right now, it's not, it's still reading. You guys hear that? There, oh fuck, I pressed it again. Did I put it in wrong? It doesn't seem to have scratched it. I worked fine on my Series X. I don't know, what's the, I don't know what the deal is. This is what I get for not turning on my 360 in so long. Oh my god, read the fucking disc, please. What's wrong? I don't think it's spinning either. It's really just in there. Fuck, I should have opened Burnout 3 and just saw what happened. Okay, let me try another disc actually. Wait a minute. This was an attempt. I got another Call of Duty game. Not for the 360, for the original Xbox. I'm gonna try that first. Let's see what happens. Because Burnout 3 apparently works. So anyone trying to diagnose my problems, I have my 360 vertically. Oh, it worked to me. What? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got some retro gaming on this shit. It's really retro, it's 2005. It's not that retro. Wait, apparently there's like a really old Treyarch logo on here. Fuck, I think I skipped it. Xbox Live. I'm pretty sure they shut down the original servers. That's so not gonna work. I'm gonna try it anyway, it just says yellow. I wanna see what pops up. Yep, could not connect. You want to troubleshoot your network connection? No, I don't, because I know it doesn't work, because they shut down the server. New, create profile. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> There's no aim in this video. My finest hour hasn't even arrived yet. I'm still waiting on that. Single player, multiplayer options. Let's check out the options. Gameplay, controller, sound. I think there's more options on here than on the 360 version. Yeah, there's way more. Holy shit. Enable ADS toggle. Why would I use that? Is that A to melee and Y to jump? Okay, this one has normal A to jump and then it's click the right stick to ADS. <laughs> what? Oh boy, it says sprint MP only. You can sprint on this version, but not on the 360 version. Although I know there's different games, but like, it's just weird to think about. Sound, a lot of settings there. I think it was the same amount of settings for like years. I don't know why I'm still in here. I'm literally, I literally just wanted to test it out. Play Xbox Live, RIP, play system like that. Yes, please. But just for the record, the original Xbox Live doesn't work because they completely shut down the entirety of original Xbox Live. So this, this doesn't work, Halo 2 doesn't work, none of those. Deathmatch Team, Deathmatch Capture Fly, Domination, Deathmatch. Damn, there's no search. Starting map, I wish I knew what these were. Give me... Town Square, I'm sure that was fun. Start. Okay. There are still ways to play this. I don't know if Insignia supports it. Insignia is like this weird little thing which like, you set it up once and you're like, modded or non-modded Xbox, but then if you're non-modded, you can just really follow the same steps and mod your Xbox. Wait, this feels so weird. Looking around feels so strange. Oh my God, what the fuck? Did I, how did I reload? Is it right bumper? No, it isn't. You can sprint. Sort of. It's like weird though. I don't think it sprints as much. Where are the controls again? Options. I don't think they had the technology to let me look at that. <gasps> you can't ADS while you're jumping. What? It's just like Fortnite. Okay, I don't know how you reload. Oh, it's left bumper. So it's like almost Halo. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, here's another thing. You don't hold to prone, you double tap. They can't undo it by pressing B again. You have to jump. Man, times were different. Okay, anyways, I'm done. There's nothing here. There's nothing to do here. All right, anyways, we know my drive isn't broken. Let's try Call of Duty 3 again. If it doesn't work, I'm just gonna go back to my Series X. By the way, Big Red one wasn't that long before Call of Duty 2 on the 360. Call of Duty 2 on the 360 released, I think, like 20 days after. And the PC version was already out. By the way, just for record, the back of this disc, Flawless. No, there's no issues. There's one weird like super light scratch, but I have way worse discs and like They work fine. I don't know my Modern Warfare 3 disc is like a complete mess. I don't know how that thing works. Nope Okay, is it just caught? I'm gonna try Call of Duty 2. All right, put COD 2 in It works. What's wrong with this disc? It works perfectly fine on my Series X. Okay, wait a minute. I just realized something. On the Series X or the Xbox One, when you put in a backwards compatibility disc, it doesn't run it off of the disc. It just, it, it grabs like the game files from a server and then downloads them. So maybe there's like a very distinct part of this disc that only the 360 reads that just doesn't work. Shit, did I already left a positive eBay review? What the hell? Man, that's so messed up. Okay, first of all, why am I using a default theme? Hello? I literally like downloaded a bunch like years ago. Wait, oh hell yeah, I paid for this one. I paid two dollars can you believe it boys i'm gonna turn voice chat off i'm fine with voice chat obviously problem is 
How do I have to save a voice chat? The problem is, all my 360 controls have this thing. Actually, no, this one in particular, my wired one, has this thing where... Actually, what? Now that I'm on COD 2, I'm gonna hop in a thing and just show you. We're gonna get a better game to test this. A way better game. Okay, there's a show. Or is my controller magically fixed? Okay, see? It says I'm talking. I do not have a headset plugged in. That quote unquote talking is static noise. Just straight up static. I know this because I was like grinding out Halo achievements with like a, a random group of people from Discord. And they were like, oh, God damn it, your fucking mic is terrible. And I was like, I don't have a mic plugged in. What the fuck? It's just pure noise from there. Anyways, I'm gonna try COD 3 one more time. If it doesn't work, I'm literally just gonna use my shooter. <laughs> so I am. And it still doesn't seem to work. God damn you, Treyarch. Okay, let me check something. How much does this game cost digitally? I bought this for half that on eBay, bro. What the fuck? Why is it still 15 pounds on the store? Activision, what's wrong with you? It's a, it's a 17 year old game. It barely works. Yay. I wonder for a fact it works on here. Why is it making some weird noises? Did you guys hear that? Blu-ray player. Oh, don't tell me. Do not tell me. My Series X has been doing this weird thing where if I leave a disc in overnight, I think it actually messes it up. There might be a low key chance that my disc is fucked. But like the thing is, when I had this in originally, it's, it literally had the disc icon actually Call of Duty 3. Compared to Ghost, which I know for a fact my Series X messed up, where it literally just didn't even have the icon. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna skip it this time. You guys gotta look at this shit. Oh my God, look at that old ass Treyarch logo. <laughs> it's not even even, it's like weird. It's like it's flipped. For some reason there's two videos, I don't know why. Let's see if I get the same error. So right after that, by the way, I want to show you guys the settings. There's way more. You can turn off aim assist now. It was called sticky aim back then. Button layout. There is tactical, but it's dog shit. It doesn't bind melee to B or anything. It just, I don't even know what it changes actually. Oh, it makes crouching left sticks, so like it's Halo controls. Quick match preferences. This is how you change what kind of matches you find. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch that. Xbox Live, player match. Ready, quick match. Alright, joining. Said this last time. My main question is, did it actually find a match? Or is it still searching and it just doesn't know what it's doing? Because like all the other 360 games have like all sorts of problems. At least the Call of Duty's. I'm thinking this might either be like it actually found a lobby but it can't join. Or it just... I don't know, I'm not sure. Yeah, I cannot connect. I have a gigabit internet connection. How are you not able to connect? Is there just a single guy hosting Call of Duty 3 with like a dog shit connection? I can create a match. Okay, there's single flag CTF, but there is no search and destroy. Set quarters, war. Okay, let's do war. Great match. I'm in. Okay, these are the classes. Rifleman. Here it is. There is sprinting, but it's like, I feel like it's closer to like a dash than a sprint. Okay, here it is. I mean, compared to the footage I saw, this actually feels really nice. It's like actually kind of smooth. It may have to do with the fact that I only watched PlayStation 3 footage, and apparently the PS3 version of this is terrible, because it was like a launch title, and you know how launch PS3 was. Oh my god. There's no jump ball ADS here either. Also, the ADS sense is very slow, but I think that's kind of normal. Yep, not even with the pistol. Look, I'm holding ADS. It's realistic, sure, but it's very weird considering what we're used to nowadays. But it's kind of weird how both versions, like Call of Duty 2, which is Infinity Wards, there's no sprinting, but you can jump while ADSing. And on Treyarch, it's like literally the reverse. Maybe you can't. Honestly, I don't even know if you can't jump while ADSing in Call of Duty 2. Rifle grenade. What? Okay. You know, once you to be joining, I don't know if this is a public match. I assume it is. Let me try quick match again. Yeah, it says searching for like a split second, but then immediately says joining, implying it found a lobby. But like, it, I, I don't think it did. I don't know. I mean, if Call of Duty 2 wasn't dead, I don't see why Call of Duty 3 would be dead. Ranked. Fuck it. You know what? Yellow. Whoa. This looks way different. Need eight more to be ready. Holy shit. Okay, this is like basically modern matchmaking, I guess. Yeah, need seven more to be ready. So I don't think there's a chance I'm going to find anyone. Not to mention the fact that it's like ranked. Another thing which I somehow haven't mentioned the entire time, but this is the only Call of Duty that isn't a spin-off shit. That strip isn't available on P on PC. It just isn't. I'm just kinda wait for a mainline Call of Duty, except especially of the era when it was still like a majority PC game. I don't know. It's also I think like the only Call of Duty to ever release in the original Xbox PS2 era that's like mainline. It also came out on the Wii, I think, but I'm pretty sure the other CODs also did that after a while. Yeah, could not connect. Alright, sorry I didn't find out what to do. <laughs> that's, that's a Call of Duty 3 experience right there.